Mobile GIS helps us better use our maps in the field, collect information, and collaborate with others. And now we can leverage the capabilities of the iPhone into our existing GIS workflows. ArcGIS for iPhone is part of the existing ArcGIS system, and it's a great way to not only uh, capture information and look at maps, but it probably more importantly, it's a way for us to leverage our existing enterprise GIS services and really extend our GIS to a much wider audience. Let's take a look. This is the ArcGIS for iPhone application. Using this application, we can find and discover content. I can search galleries of information. I can browse by most popular maps, the highest rated maps, or I can access and use my own maps that I publish and, and host myself. And I've created a group called ArcGIS 10 What's Coming. So here are some maps in this group. I'm going to open the Fort Pierce dashboard map. So here we see a map of Fort Pierce, Florida. So using all of the iPhone applications, I can tap and zoom in, pan around this map. But what's really interesting about this map is that it was authored with a stored query. So if I want to search for service requests in and around the city of Fort Pierce, I can do that. So let's search for all the closed requests. Here are all the staff in the field right now. So let's go take a look at the map. And we can see the requests that they have completed in the field. So we'll zoom in just by tapping. And so here are the service requests. I'll touch this one. We can see Steve Jones and the information that he has captured and updated about a streetlight a repair project that was happening in the city. So this is one example of how we can use the ArcGIS iPhone uh, to solve problems in and around our community. I'm going to find another map. This is a tax parcel map that I'll open up. So this was designed for uh, tax assessors, property tax assessors, so they can enter in a property ID, locate that parcel on the map, and find out information about assessing this property. So if I wanted to identify this feature, here's the parcel, and there's all the information that's recorded with this particular parcel. But as a property uh, assessor, I need to know as much information as I can about this particular property or this area. So I can bring in a different service, and we'll see that this map actually hosts uh, multiple services. So not only do we have a base map, but we also have operational information. So here I'll turn on the operational information. Let's identify this. This is for recent sales and foreclosures that have occurred in this area. So I can bring in a totally separate layer of information into my map. And here we see all of the information that's there that's going to help me make a better decision about how uh, this property is assessed. So far, all of the examples I've shown you are using the standard ArcGIS for iPhone application. There are going to be scenarios where you may want to develop or customize your own branded iPhone application. And to handle that, we're releasing an ArcGIS API for iPhone. So let's take a look at a customized application to see a good example of when you might want to, to customize your own. This is an example of a custom ArcGIS for iPhone application in which a city can leverage their existing enterprise GIS services to reach a much wider audience with their GIS workflows. In this case, we're creating a service request in which the citizens of this community can interact with their local government. So I may identify an area, and using the GPS functionality of the iPhone, I could just GPS uh, something I may notice or observe in and around the city. So I'm going to enter the details about this, maybe use the phone uh, the phone's camera to take a picture. Now I already have a picture, so I'm just going to grab something that I have noticed in the community, a problem with a pothole here. So I'm just going to choose what type of problem I'm observing. In this case, it's a pothole. I can give it a description, and then update my contact information to send if I want to be notified or stay in the loop of what's happening with this particular incident. So I could submit this back to the city, and then they can take this, leverage it right in with their existing workflows, and address this problem. I'm certainly helping them generate and maintain the city around us. The iPhone provides a powerful and easy-to-use interface 
And thanks to the ArcGIS for iPhone application, we can leverage our existing enterprise GIS services and extend the reach of GIS to a much wider audience. ArcGIS for iPhone is going to be a freely available app from the Apple App Store, and you'll be able to download it soon. Thank you.